Star CFL cornerback Trey Roberson has just been weighed by the Chicago Bears after suffering an undisclosed training camp injury. What's up guys, I'm back with some more Bears news. Some sad news again, okay, we're only having bad news today, bad news Bears, unfortunately, but Trey Roberson, a guy that a lot of people here had high hopes for, coming from the CFL, uh, we gave him the highest contract to a CFL player since Cameron Wake, so we invested a good amount of money into him, uh, 1.4 million, which you may seem like it may seem like it's not that much money, but for a CFL player, that was a decent amount of money, giving him a two-year contract. Um, Ryan Pace, Matt Nagy, had a lot of good things to say about him. I watched his tape from the CFL, and he just looked like a really great player. I'm um, on the outside being a cornerback. He was a ball hawk, having 10 interceptions in two years, having a return touchdown, you know, blocking a field goal to save the game. Like He made a ton of plays his couple years in the CFL, so that's why he was the number one free agent uh, CFL player going from CFL to the NFL. And, you know, a lot of people thought that he could seriously challenge for that outside cornerback spot, the number two spot behind Kyle Fuller, which Prince of Mukamara's release has left. Now, unfortunately, that's not going to be the case anymore because apparently he suffered some type of injury, which I have no idea what it is because the reports are so extremely vague. They're not saying what type of injury it was or how he suffered it or what, what even happened. I mean, I don't know why it's so vague, but... Apparently, he suffered some type of injury that's going to keep him out. And, you know, it's going to make it so that he's not going to be on the team anymore. Now, if this was a normal season with no virus or any any stuff like that, he would probably still be on the team. Because I feel like the moves they're making right now is only happening since we have less people we can bring to training camp. Okay, usually you can bring like 90 people, I believe, to training camp. I think it's 10 less. So I believe it's 80. I'll have to double check. I'll put the number on the screen right now. But... It's less people we can bring to training camp. So obviously, you know, we're going to have to make some tough decisions just like this one. If this guy was not ready to be in training camp, then I guess it wouldn't make a lot of sense to bring him on the team. Now, I hope this doesn't go to bite us down the road because this guy was truly talented, in my opinion. I mean, he was a playmaker, a ball hawk. um, And, you know, maybe he could have had some success in the NFL and maybe he still will because there was a ton of teams that were going after him. There was nine other teams they were trying to get him, but he chose to sign with the Chicago Bears. But unfortunately, due to an injury, his time with the Bears never really began. So, Trey Roberson, man, wherever you go, I wish you the best of luck. You're a really hardworking, humble dude. I saw his story. I saw his interviews and all. He's a really good dude, so I wish him the best of luck. And I really wish we could keep him, but obviously the Bears do have other depth already. I'm at the outside cornerback spot. We drafted Jalen Johnson with, the second, uh, with one of our second-round picks, so... He could probably be a starter. I think he's going to start eventually, if not from the very beginning. Uh, we also have Kevin Tolliver, who's been in the system for a while now, a couple of years. And he's a decent option, I feel like, on the outside too. Um, Kendall Vildor, I don't know if you view him as an outside cornerback. Um, people want to say he's going to play in nickel, but some people think he can't play on the outside. So maybe he could be an option too. Uh, we also have Artie Burns. So we have some decent options. This definitely reduces our depth by a decent amount because this guy was a veteran. He was like 27 years of age. Um, so he had a lot of experience, um, a lot of playmaking experience as well. It would have been nice to have him. But sadly, you know, an injury is something we cannot control. And if he's not going to be here for training camp, that's not going to help us out very much. So best of luck, Trey Roberson. It sucks that it came to this. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And as always, bear down. Oh,